Welcome back to my channel. Ah, my name's Louise. I didn't clarify in the last video that um, my friends call me Louisiana, so that's my nickname. Uh, I love that name, Louisiana. So yeah, um, welcome back. I am so excited to be back. Um, I just want to give you guys a massive thank you to everyone that subscribed or watched or liked my video, shared it, whatever you guys did. I really appreciate it. Um, even if you just took the time to just watch it, that really means a lot to me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I was super nervous after my first video, but, um, from the looks of it, like, most people were, like, cool with it, so that was fun. Um, but yeah, today I, or yesterday I went shopping, I was in the city in Melbourne, Australia. I went to Sephora, I went to Mecca, I went to Daiso and I went to Priceline, so, oh, and I went to Makeup Net. Um, so if you guys want to see what I freaking bought, stay tuned. Alright, so I'm going to jump into what I got. Are you guys fucking excited or what? So, um, let's begin. Do you guys want to see Sephora first? I feel like you guys want to see Sephora first. Um, or well basically, Sephora. Like, these black and white stripes in America just give me life. Like, mm, Sephora. But anyway, let's see what's in the bag. Okay, so starting off, um, I've always wanted to try some Tarte products. And finally, this is my very first Tarte purchase. Um, and I'm guessing everyone in the world has it except for me. So that's why I'm like, let me jump on the bandwagon again. I'm so excited. So I got the um, Mar Maruja oil. Maruja. The oil. The Maruja oil. Maracuja. It's maracuja, isn't it? Not maruja. Yeah, it's maracuja oil um, from Tarte. And the little I got the little travel size. Oh my god, guys, is that focused? It looks like that. Nice little purple. This earth prescribed treatment oil targets your individual skin concerns and delivers harmony and moisture rich in essential fatty acids known to recharge and replenish skin maracuja oil gives the appearance of brighter skin thanks to a high dose of vitamin c vitamin c is good y'all uh, um, i'm super excited to try it wanted to try it for so long and i finally got it so that's purchase number one from sephora and yeah, the next thing that I got from Sephora would get, was again from Tarte. Now, I wasn't planning to get this, but my best friend was like, oh my god, get me one. And I was like, motherfucker, what are you buying? So she told me, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it too. So this was kind of like a, I trust you, Tanya. If this is shit, I'm blaming you. Give me $52. I'm kidding. Um, but it's the Tarte High Performance Naturals Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer base now the reason why i got this is because my friend said that shayla uses it and i'm like girl shayla slays so if, if slayla likes it then i'ma like it so as soon as she's like shayla uses it i was like this bitch okay is fucking hot if you don't know where check out makeup by shayla she just made a youtube channel and i was like about damn time girl like you <sighs> love you girl anyway that's what it looks like. Just a little jar. When you open it, it looks like a nipple. Other than that, it looks like a cloud of softness. It's like a pot of cloud. Like it's moussey. Doesn't really have a smell to it, which is good. And let's let's do this. Look at that. So it's really soft, as you guys can see. If I was to swatch it straight on my hand, it's obviously clear. And yeah, you can't see shit, but that's what it looks like when it's rubbed in. Actually, no. That's what it looks like when it's rubbed in. Nothing. So it's definitely matte, but it's still... I don't know. I need to try it, to be honest. I can't even fucking explain what it's like because I haven't tried it on my face. So when I try it, I'm going to let you guys know what I think. So um, next from Sephora, I got... This was random. Now... This is the Sephora Wonderful Cushion, the Natural Glow Luminizer. It looks like that. Um, yeah, I 
when you open it, I'll show you guys. Once you open it, it's like a little cushion. So it looks like that. Um, you obviously squeeze it and rub. So. Ooh, look at that. Something's coming through. I love seeing shit like this. So anyway, when you do a little swatch, it's like that. It's literally like a straight gold, rose gold color. Now the thing that I liked about it is once you rub it, once you rub it in, it's got like little glitter flecks in it. It's probably going to be impossible to see. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. I'm just planning to leather my face in that, just shove it all over, rub it in, um, and then just put like my foundation on top or whatever else. So yeah. This one I felt like when I like rubbed it all off with the tissue, the glitter kind of like remained on the skin and I was like, girl, this glitter's not coming off. So I thought that would probably work on my oily skin because when you use creams, sometimes it's too much on the face, like liquid illuminators. Illuminators, liquid illuminizers. So I was like, you know what? This shit looks like it's sticking to my hand. Maybe it can stick to my face, like all the glitter. So that's what I wanted, and that's what I got it. I think it was twenty bucks, twenty dollars um, from Sephora. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I really don't know how it is. I haven't heard about it. I've never seen it before. So just something extra I picked up. Now, girl, the next thing that I bought, I have been eyeing off since like Christmas what is it now May I saw this and I was just in Sephora when it first opened and I'm like let me smell every fucking fragrance there is so I saw this brand I don't know what brand it is to be honest it's the you know um Nima Quat where was it made made in Kuwait made in Kuwait look at the packaging guys this is fancy shit this is so fancy I was like, girl, let me get one of these. Now, this is um, a men's fragrance. And anyone that knows me knows I fucking love a good men's fragrance. Like, I, I think I own more men's fragrance than women. Let's be honest. Um, so I smelt this around Christmas time and I was like, oh my fucking gosh, what is that? So I sprayed it on a card, I left and I wanted to like marry myself that night. So I've been thinking about it since then. The reason why I didn't get it is because it was like a hundred bucks for the fragrance and usually I don't spend that much on fragrance because that's a lot of money, but again, it's fragrance, so whatever. But um, yeah, I smelt it and I loved it. And since then I've been thinking about it. So I'm like, you know what, if I keep thinking about it, I'm just going to get it. So I got it. And now it fucking rose to $108. So I was like, oh. but anyway, um, that's what the packaging looks like. Not in the box. So it looks like looks like that it's quite a heavy bottle so i was like yes 108 dollars come through maybe i'm paying for the weight i don't know um but yeah it's 100 mils it's the parfum so it's not a toilette which means it's going to last longer um it's basically a woody fragrance a woody fragrance opening on lemon and orange top notes um followed by pepper middle note ending up on a woody background so it it's woody, but it's not so woody that it's, like, too woody. Does that make any sense? This, I feel like, is a perfect mix between, like, your peppery, but, like, your fresh fragrance. Like, that really fresh water, like, aftershave. Like, oh, I love it. I love men's fucking fragrance. When I find a good one for a man, like, you know, when they get out of the shower and they just had a shave and they're fucking in a hot suit and they're fresh and they're clean, literally... This is what this smells like. It's, it's... This literally, like, mm. Two sprays is definitely enough. I sprayed this the other day and it lasted me all night. And you guys really need to smell it. I love this one. So, yay. It's like one of my favourite men's fragrances right now. And trust me, I have a lot of men's fragrances. So, yeah. Um, and because I spent, like, over 150 in one transaction, I'm pretty sure she said she gave me, like, a makeup bag. So it looks like that. And then on the other side... 
it's just got your Sephora. Gorge Sephora. So, yeah, I'm going to chuck all my shit in there. Like, um, so, moving on, that was my Sephora stuff. Um, I'll, I'll move on to what I got from Mecca Maxima. Oh. Anyway, moving on to makeup net. Yay! That's what the old bag looks like. I kept it. Um, this time I got a pretty little white plastic bag. So, okay. Um, so, from makeup net, I got four Morphe brushes. Let me take them out. So, I'll start off with the Morphe E45. So, how am I going to do this? It literally... So, it's like... So, this brush is really small and compact. Like, when I feel that, it's it's dense, but it's not too dense. That's a rock. Now, it's got a dome top, and dome tops, what are they good for? Streak free. But again, depends on the brand, depends on it. Um, and what I'm planning to use this for is basically my concealer under my eyes to really blend it out and kind of sweep it in there. Because when you use something so fluffy, it doesn't really push the product into your skin. Or like my concealer all over my lid, if I want to do a quick colour dust um some eyeshadow to set it and yeah good to go yeah that is my morphe e45 brush so the next brush that i got was the morphe m441 um and that is their kind of blender brush that is my chair guys not me so it's just like tape it at the top but it's really nice if you want to blend out that eyeshadow like get a really seamless finish next I got two of the same brush because I felt like I needed this for a minute I thought they were different and I was like this bitch gave me the wrong brush but they're they're the same um one of them's dirty one of them's clean it's the Morphe M562 brush and they look they look like that I like these because they're small and thin and tapered so you can really cut that crease, um, but still keep it blended and really seamless. Whereas most small thin brushes that I've tried in the past, they get into that area of course, but they don't blend as well. So I did use this one to film this look. I do like it. Um, and I'll let you guys know how I go with the rest of them. So they're the brushes that I got. I got four brushes. Um, these were like 10 bucks each. The other one was the Morphe... Um, M441 was 12, that nice big fluffy brush. And then the concealer, or the concealer brush that I'm using, the E45, was 14 or so, which is pretty effing good for brushes. Like, usually they're like anywhere between 20 to like $70 each, depending on what brand. So, for 10 bucks for a brush, I was like, I'm gonna get two, which I did. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was my Makeup Net haul. And I. I also went to Priceline. For everyone that doesn't live in Australia, Priceline is basically like your CVS, like your pharmacy with skincare and cosmetics. Um, it's not really a beauty product, but I just got a men's deodorant. Also, another thing that I got from Priceline, which all of you guys are asking me, is my eyelashes. And I got asked by everyone yesterday, what lashes am I wearing? They're so fluffy and they're so pretty. And I was like, true, I haven't worn them in a while. I thought I'd show them some love yesterday. And I'm glad I did. I bought another packet. Um, they are the number 34 Alessandra lashes. They're intense eyelashes. 
So they're full on, um, but they're still wispy. Let me take them out of the pack for you guys so you can get a real, real good look at them. That's what they're like. So they're so fluffy, double stacked, intense, really wispy. They're like natural on the eye, but still give a little something. I don't know. Let me zoom in for you guys. Zoom in. Whoa. Now these lashes are super fluffy. They're double stacked. I don't know if you guys can see that one stack is literally on top of the other. Um, they're so amazing. But I got those lashes and that deodorant from Priceline. It wasn't much because I spent so much <laughs> before that at other places. Oh. Yesterday I think I went broke. Like the meme on like Facebook that was going around or Instagram was like, oh happily drop two to three hundred on makeup, but I'm sitting there thinking about a four dollar bottle of water that I just bought. And that's so me. Like you're like, mmm, four dollars for a bottle of water. Maybe if I go down the street across the road at three fifty, you know what I mean? Um and next I went to Daiso. So again, for I feel like I've been saying this like so many times. But for all you non-Australians, Daiso is just a, um, a Japanese store, I believe. And that's got, everything is $2.80. Everything. You can get things from like shower caps to like makeup and eyelashes and everything. This bag is so big. That's Daiso. Um, Japanese, I was correct. It says it on the box. So, my goodies from Daiso, Daiso, I don't know, I'm just going to call it Daiso. I think people call it Daiso, but again. Morphe, Morph, Daiso, Daiso, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Okay, starting off, I got three storage units. I just got things, the storage units that look like that. I'm thinking to place... I'm thinking to place my lip glosses in there because they're quite tall. Um, if lipsticks went in there, I feel like it'd be a struggle to get them out. So I'm just going to try lip glosses and lip liners. Um, I got another one, which is just a four square unit. They've got a picture of a little dog in there. But that's weird. I feel like maybe I'm going to store my compacts in here because it's good size. Let's try it. For example, my Laura Mercier powder fits like literally perfect. Let's try a small palette. So my Astralis Fresh and Flawless obviously will fit. Oh no, it's like too big. Ugh. Maybe I can store my mascaras. That's weird. Well anyway, I, it was $2.00. I bought it and I was like, you know what, if I can't find storage for this, like if it doesn't fit, it's $2.80. I'll literally give it to a friend or like recycle it. Maybe. Next I got um, this. It's just a headband. It literally is going to go oh God, oh God, um, over my head when I'm like in the shower or maybe doing my makeup or mainly when I do my face masks because I hate when my hair is like stuck in my charcoal mask and I go like rip that shit out. Like no. So yeah. yeah so I bought something next. I don't know how it's going to work. I picked it up and I was like that could work we will see these are for my brushes um it's like a little glove like not really so it's got grips on it it's like a silicon base so i'm thinking maybe if i pop that like in my sink and i can like i can swirl my brushes on it but um like i guess we'll see how it goes i don't know how it's gonna work if it's even gonna hold with water um but yeah so i got that and i thought i might as well give it a go you never know again if it's like shit i'm just gonna chuck it like bin that shit don't need another thing that i bought is just the silicon scrubbing board handy and soft um this is basically for my brushes it's like your little kind of egg like your egg looking thing on the other side the other side just got ripples. Um, 
just got ripples on it. So it looks like this. This is so weird. It's like, oh my god, look at my new cleaning device. It's called Egg Laundry Board. An egg laundry board. So you just get your brush and then you would like... This is weird. And then just swirl it on there to give it a really good clean. It's got ripples and stuff, so that is going to do the work for you. Can you see that? It literally just kind of took off the colour now. This is when you're good when you're travelling. Instead of bringing like your whole, because I've got a different glove and it's quite large. I can just bring my little egg and just like give my brushes a quick clean. Let them dry. And I'm good to go. You know? <laughs> How? That. that rhymed. Next I just got some cotton puffs, just their 150 pack for $2.80, um, they're squares, and yeah, like that. Open. Last but not least, I got one of the best um, sponge cleaners on the market that I've tried, and this by far cleans my beauty blender better or my sponges better than anything I've ever tried. I literally tip a little bit of this on the sponge, give it a real like wash through in the water and then just squeeze all the water out and oh my brush, I mean my my beauty blender is spotless, like pure spanky fresh pink again um, and that is the detergent for puff and sponge. You guys have probably seen this everywhere. Um, it's $2.80. Mine lasts me like a month or whatever, depending on how much I use it. If I clean my sponges, you know, weekly, then I go through it quicker. If I clean them, I'm lazy, like every fortnight, then obviously I'm gonna. They're, it's gonna last longer. Um, to save me some trouble going back to Daiso, because there's only in the city in High Point and things like that, I just got three. <laughs> You know, trust me guys, this will clean your beauty blender or your sponge amazing. Seriously, wherever you put this stuff and then squeeze it out, it's like pink and then like, like foundation around it. It's so, so, so good. So yeah, that's everything I got and I appreciate everyone that has tuned in and has given me all the support and all the love that I could ever imagine, especially to begin with. Um... You know, everyone that's subscribed, I thank you. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel. And yeah, share my video. Like whatever you guys do these days. Um, follow me on Instagram. It's L-O-U-I-S-I-A-N-A-A. And my Snapchat is L-O-U-I-S-I-A-N-N-A-A. But I appreciate it so much, guys. Honestly, I thank you all for supporting me. The and until next time, I will speak to you guys later. Bye. Okay. Come a little closer. Oh. Oh, girl. Look at goodness, man. It's just push this that way. Oh, girl. This highlight is on fleek though. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Relax. Morph. Morphe. <laughs> Detergent for puff and sponge. I like that it says puff. Like, use this for your puff. Your puff. Oh. Um, I just got a little head turban, like tea towel, um, tea towel. I got a head tea towel, guys. No. Oh my god, it's like tight as fuck. <laughs> ring, my ding ring, the money play with my ding ring. Anyway, right underneath your eyeshadow. Oh, shit. You know Lila, with Eddie, Mur Eddie Murphy, with Jim Carrey? He's like, you know how he's like, this one. <laughs> the dad at the end, he's like, this wanna be stepdad or whatever, he's just like, um, the claw, right? and he's like using one finger, like, the claw, the claw, the claw, can I get This bag's pretty. <gasps> I haven't even used it. I have not even used it yet, and I already got it dirty. Where's my detergent for my puff? Maybe I can use the 
Maruja oil. So vitamin C might brighten it. Oh. That way home. Mm. Okay. I was not ready to blow that out yet, but bah, bah, bah. I hit my neck doing that. I was like, bah, and it just like cramped, and I'm like, okay, stretch that jet out, bro. Ah. Goodbye.